this one, another example, we call this the box drill. Now I love this drill because we're combining like four different movements here. We're going to get a press to a shuffle, to a crossover drop, to a break foot, dry foot, and a 90 degree break. And now here's an example where we're finishing with a ball getting stealing a rep at our ball skills. So anytime we can take these drills, layer them, combine movements and do anything where we're still working the fundamental. Now we've taught the fundamental in its most basic form, but we're taking it, we're combining it, we're making it more game-like. Any opportunity we get to do that, we'll do that. This next one is now another example of using different stimulus to get us to do the things we need to do. And I'm actually stealing, you know, cheating a little bit because I'm stealing from some keen diagnosed drills here too. This is a drill we started doing this last year um, at Minnesota. And it's something that, that I really love. We call this just triangle read. So what we're doing here is we've got two linebackers up. You can see it's, it might be a little hard to see here, but we've got the baseboard behind them. That's ensuring that they don't fall step. It's instant feedback. If they're going to fall step and lose ground, they're going to step on the board. They're going to feel it. The three guys that are on the sideline are simulating the offensive line, guard, center, guard. And right now, we're not giving them a call. We're not giving them a gap responsibility, anything like that. All this is about is about playing with vision, seeing the guard center guard surface or whatever your triangle surface is and reacting to what the run scheme is. So we're back here giving those guys commands and they're going to react. So this first one here is going to be stretch. They get a stretch key. They're using that crossover run footwork that we that we just talked about and they're just mirroring the offensive line. The other thing that they're doing, because we always are about recognizing plays, you know, the, we say a smarter player is a better player. So the more we can recognize and the more we can understand combinations in the game of football the better will be so there's no volume on this clip but both these linebackers as they're crossover running are yelling stretch 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 as they you know as, as they're so we're getting the the physical reaction of the crossover run we're getting them verbally confirming what the play is we tell them that we call outside zone stretch so they're yelling stretch 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 here's another example now we're going to get inside zone a zone scheme here so now here's that press footwork working on a push to move on a 45 degree angle uh, the guy on the right here is getting a little bit hoppy with his footwork. We don't want to have two feet off the ground ever. 